Hello, my name is Dan, and welcome to our second episode of Peak Internet's Weekly Tech Tips. We planned on doing several episodes on email programs, however, due to recent activity on the internet, we decided to do a special episode on passwords. We'll continue with our regular schedule next week and set up Mozilla Thunderbird. So why are passwords so important? Think of it like this. If your email address is like the mailing address to your house, then your password is like the key to your front door. On the internet, password doesn't just protect people from accessing your account, it also keeps them from using your account for things you don't want them to, like spam for instance. It's like letting someone break into your house not to steal anything from you, but to sell stolen goods from your basement. It doesn't just hurt you, it affects your whole community. The program I'm going to show you today is called KeePassX. KeePassX is a password manager. It helps us get a handle on all the passwords we have to use and it does it in a secure way. First we have to download KeePassX. We can download it from its website which is www.keepassx.org. That's spelled K-E-E, -E, not K-E-Y. Once we've made it to the KeePassX website, we click on the Downloads link on the left. You'll notice it has multiple downloads available. It's because KeePassX is available for Linux, Mac OS X, and Windows. Most of you are probably going to be using the Windows version. However, if you have a Mac, you can go ahead and download the Mac. It works in pretty much the same way, but it's a different program. Once you clip, click on the download link, it's going to take us to a SourceForge.net site. This is where the KeePass X program is actually hosted. And we just click on the link, download KeePass X. It'll ask us if we want to open or save the file. We want to go ahead and save it. And by default on Windows Vista, it'll save it to the downloads folder on Windows XP, you may or may not have a downloads folder, so you may want to save it to your desktop folder. Either way, we click Save, and the program will begin to download. 